Hey guys, this is Josh Carney from Carney Media Group and the Music Tech Help Guy YouTube channel. In this video, I'll show you how to install Divine Waves on an external hard drive. So right now I have a Finder window pulled up here with the Samsung one terabyte. This is just a one terabyte SSD I've got plugged into my iMac. And this is the drive that I want to install my Divine Waves library to. Now I'll show you two different ways. First, I'll show you how to do this from a previous installation where you installed this on your main hard drive and you just wanna move it over to an external drive. And then I'll show you how to do this as a fresh install. So first you need to locate the folder where the Divine Waves sample files are installed. So simply go up to go, go down to computer. I'm gonna click here to load this in columns. I'll click on Macintosh HD, that's just my main hard drive users, and then your username, my computer's named Carney Media Group. From here, you're gonna go down to music, audio music apps, sampler instruments, and you'll see the existing Divine Waves EXS24 collection folder that you installed before. So I've got a fresh finder window here with my Samsung one terabyte drive pulled up. I'm just gonna pull this whole folder over into my external hard drive. So you can put this folder anywhere on an external drive. A lot of people will create a dedicated folder for all of their sample libraries. And remember, Divine Waves is a pretty big sample library. It's almost 25 gigs. So give it a minute or two to transfer. All right, so after this transfers, just right click on the transfer Divine Waves folder and select make alias. Then what you'll do is drag this alias file into the sampler instruments folder from before. So now what you can do is actually delete the Divine Waves collection from the sampler instruments because we've got it stored over here on the external drive. Now what you're gonna do is rename the Divine Waves EXS collection folder by taking off the word alias off the end and then don't forget the space either. You can also delete the extra alias file on the external drive. So the way this works is when Logic is trying to find an EXS instrument and its associated sample files, it will point this over to the external drive. Next with Logic open, I'll just create a new software instrument track and I'll check to make sure that my sample library works. So I'll open up my library, go to user channel strip settings, click on the Divine Waves folder, and then select a patch. If you happen to get this file path select dialog that pops up, just find the hard drive that you moved the Divine Waves collection over to. So here I moved it over to my Samsung one terabyte drive and then just click okay. After doing this, all of your patches will work normally. If you're a brand new user of Divine Waves and you've just downloaded it and you want to install it on an external drive, you can do that too. So in this next part, I'll show you how to do this with a fresh download and install of Divine Waves. So after you download Divine Waves, it should automatically unzip the file. If it doesn't, just double click it and it'll uncompress the file to this folder that says CMG Divine Waves install. So just double click on this and you'll see two separate folders. The Divine Waves folder contains all of the channel strip settings for the instruments, and the Divine Waves EXS24 collection folder contains all of the sample files. So I have to put these in two different places. So first go up to Go, Computer. Once again, I'll put this in Columns view. I'll go to Macintosh HD, Users, Your Username, Music, Audio Music Apps, and this time we're gonna to go to channel strip settings. And then from channel strip settings, we'll click on instrument. With my downloads folder pulled up again with my Divine Waves install folder, I'll drag the Divine Waves folder into the channel strip settings instrument folder. So this is gonna transfer over all of the channel strip settings. Now CST files are tiny, so there's no need to install these on an external drive. Next, pull up the hard drive that you want to install the sample library. So here, once again, I have my Samsung one terabyte drive, and I'll just drag the Divine Waves EXS24 collection onto that external hard drive. Again, just wait a minute or two until this transfers over. Now that the Divine Waves EXS24 collection has been moved over to an external drive, you can delete the EXS24 collection folder that's in the downloads folder, 
and this will save you 25 gigabytes of space on your main hard drive. Next, all you have to do is repeat the same process I did before by creating an alias. So just right click on the Divine Waves EXS24 collection folder on your external drive and select Make Alias. Next, go under Audio Music Apps, Sampler Instruments, and drag that alias file into the Sampler Instruments folder. Then just rename this by clicking on it, pressing Return, and deleting the word alias off the back end of it. And again, don't forget about the space. Then you can delete the alias file from your external hard drive. Next, just open up Logic and create a new software instrument track to test this out. Open up the library, go to User Channel Strip Settings, click on the Divine Waves folder, and select a patch. and all 53 software instruments should load up normally. If you happen to get the file path select dialog like I did before, just select the external drive that the Divine Waves collection is loaded onto and press OK. So that's how you can install Divine Waves on an external drive. If you'd like to purchase Divine Waves, you can head over to carneymediagroup.com for more information. And if you wanna watch an overview on Divine Waves or a tutorial on the standard installation, Check out the links I've included in the video description below. Thanks for the support, and thanks for watching.